before we start, I want you all to hit that red subscribing button so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Film Visionary. TLC's Extreme Couponing is a show that started in 2011 and was discontinued after some time. It focused on people who were devoted to couponing to a great extent to turn out that there was a whole lot of people addicted to it. The main idea behind the show is that extreme couponers come in all ages and genders. So extreme couponing focused on such people that were die-hard couponers. So here are 10 of the most ridiculous moments that were caught on camera and aired on extreme couponing. Number 1. Judy Judy is at the age of 40 who calls herself the couponator. If she's too busy clipping coupons, she won't even go to the bathroom. She stockpiled 120 rolls of paper towels. As soon as somebody takes the bad boy, I must replace it, she says. I don't need to go to the rehab for coupons. I'm doing just fine. You're the one who has the problem. The biggest problem with addiction is accepting that you have a problem, which is, in fact, the same first step toward getting rid of an addiction itself. She loves the coupons so much, she wrote a rap about them, busting out all the deals across the nation. Number 2. Couponing can be a family thing. It has been in Jeff's family for 75 years. Now he's passing on to the tradition to his 8-year-old son, Sam. It's certainly one way to get in math lessons. In my brain, there was little guys working, Sam says. And once I see a coupon, they have a little party. As long as the coupon collecting and spending is not getting to your head, or messing with your daily tasks, then there is no harm in getting your children involved too. Number 3. Radio personality Scott is so proud of his bunker of coupon treasures that his wife finds him down there at night just staring, she says. The supply could last them an entire year. His addiction to coupon collection was very unhealthy, and his family acknowledged that, but couldn't get him to leave the terrible habit behind. Number 4. The last person you'd expect to be a coupon-collecting addict is a pregnant woman, right? WRONG! Angelica, who is pregnant, is one day away from doctor-ordered bed rest. She spends it at the supermarket, stockpiling 30-cent bags of Doritos. What's worse is that her husband helps out. Together, they fill three carts in less than an hour split it 20 plus transactions without taking into account that she is a pregnant woman with a child. Number 5. Catherine treats Black Friday sales the way an army commander might plan an airstrike. I had surgery two days before Black Friday and I still went, she says. On the day, she uses this mobile command center to keep her troops comfortable on Black Friday missions. Her stockpile back home is incredible and worth $30,000, including 400 boxes of dryer sheets and 60 boxes of tissues. Here's what 400 rolls of paper towels looks like. Catherine's husband understood her obsession and put a hold on it. He banned her from shopping for six months when they ran out of space because her shopping addiction and discount availing were getting way out of hand. This woman's pride and joy, hundreds of boxes of dryer sheets. It smelled so good in here, she says. I wish it was smell vision She also scored 60 air fresheners for three cents a piece. Number six. Another mother on this list is April, who has six kids, homeschools five of them, and still makes it to the supermarket six days a week. It's definitely an obsession, see, she says. If I lose savings, I cannot sleep at night. And every couponer has a prize collection of some sort. April cherishes her hand soap, dozens of which she got entirely for free. She is such a shopping and coupon freak that a recording was captured of her talking to her newborn and saying, Can you say savings? Can you say free? Number 7. Some people don't rely on coupons only for 
discounts. They might even go as far as buying an entire cow to feed meat to their family. Aaron buys an entire cow each year for the family's meat. I pay about $2 per pound, she says, which beats stores by about $2. Number 8. Nathan is a proud owner of 1,000 tubes of toothpaste. Why? Because he claims he only had to pay sales tax on them. But did somebody fail to mention to Nathan that tubes of toothpaste do have an expiration date? Well, whatever floats your boat, buddy. Number 9. Teenagers also took part in a crazy addiction. A 17-year-old cold dumpster dives for coupons after school daily. It was a crazy thing to do for a teenager to scavenge in dumpsters after schools, yet he did it anyway in search of coupons and unbelievable discounts, which other children run after women. Cole claims he runs after discount prices on household items, and that according to him, it is better. Number 10. Kelly, the mother of three who stayed up till 2 a.m. before shopping trips, Kelly was risking her and her children's mental health with her obsession with getting discounts. I lay awake at night, tossing and turning, afraid that I might miss out on deals, she says. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of the videos in the future. Also, watch the two episodes that are on screen because I'm sure you'll love them. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!